Hey guys, I'm Arpit, your growth marketing consultant, back with another scraping video. Today I'll show you how to scrape popular e-commerce websites without code for free. This video will enable you to scrape popular e-commerce websites like Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Walmart, Flipkart, Groupon, and much more. I'll be using my favorite no-code scraping tool called Octopars. Not only will we learn how to scrape popular e-commerce websites using Octopars, but then also learn how to send that data to a Google Sheet via Zapier. Web scraping is slowly becoming crucial for e-commerce businesses for gaining rich insights to strategize their position in the marketplace and outdo competition. They're using it for competitor analysis and competition mapping real-time tracking of competitor prices and product portfolio research, creating personalized and targeted ads, sentiment and predictive analysis. Let me now take you to my computer screen and begin the tutorial. Sign up on the Octopass website using my affiliate link in the description. In this way, you can support the channel and I can continue to make such videos. Depending on your operating system, you can download Octopass for Windows or Mac, Sign in again once the app is downloaded. On the home tab, you'll see some popular task templates. Task templates are pre-built crawlers ready for you to scrape data from popular websites. Click on more to see all the task templates as per website categories, like product for e-commerce websites, travel, social media, search engine, directories, etc. In case you don't see a task template for the website you want to scrape, then you can use the advanced mode, which you can find under the add new button. In the advanced mode, you build your own crawlers from scratch. In my video about how to scrape Facebook for thousands of leads, you can see and learn how to build a scraper from scratch using the advanced mode. In this video, we'll use the pre-built task template to scrape popular e-commerce websites. So let's select Amazon and then you'll see different task templates for Amazon Prime and Amazon e-commerce website for different countries. I'll select the Indian Amazon e-commerce website. In the sample data section, you can see what all data will get collected in your sheet. Click on try it. Now give it a max three keywords for which you want to scrape Amazon. Like I'll put a couple of keywords, iPhone covers and iPhone accessories. Let's put two under the number of pages. Now let's put the Indian postal code 110021. Click on save and run, then select run on cloud. Now in the dashboard, we can see the task is running and it is completed now. We can see it has scraped 56 lines. To download this data, we can click on more and then view data, select cloud data, you can inspect the data and then click on export data. Choose your preferred format and then click on OK. Give it a name, click on save as and then open the file to view the data. Alternatively, you can set up an automation to send data to a Google Sheet directly from Octopars via Zapier. Let me show it to you. Head on to Zapier. To build this workflow, let's search and connect Octopars with Google Sheets. Under when this happens, select new data processed. Under then to do this action, select create new spreadsheet row and then click on try it. Sign in into your Octopus account, then press continue. To set up the trigger, select the task group. By default, all tasks fall under my group. If you want to change or create a new task group, then head on to task settings. Here you will find move groups and you could also create a new group. Select the task for which you wish to send the data to a Google Sheet. I'll suggest you to paste the task ID to find and select it. The task ID is found under more settings, cloud runs, API, copy it and then paste it. You'll see the name of the task like we just created in URLs Amazon. I'll select it. Then let's select the task status as completed and click on continue. Then click on test trigger and you'll see details about your task. Then click on continue. Now to set up the action, you'll see an app as Google Sheets and an action event as create spreadsheet rows. You now need to create a Google Sheet with headers that correspond to the Octopus export data. 
The headers in my Google Sheet match those in the data exported from Octoparse as you can see. Let's head back to Zapier, click on continue, choose your Google Sheet account and hit continue. Then select my Google Drive. Now select the spreadsheet you just prepared. Then select the sheet. Now match the spreadsheet headers with corresponding Octoparse data. Once done, click on continue. Then click on test and review. Now you can see a new row is added in our Google spreadsheet. Now just turn on the zap. To check, run the task in Octoparse. Once completed, you will see data being sent on your connected Google Sheet in about two to three minutes. Now let's learn how to scrape eBay. Search for eBay and select eBay URLs. Click on try it. First, we will scrape the product URLs for our target keywords. You can add up to 1000 keywords. I'll add a couple of keywords, smartwatch and smart speakers. Under page size, enter the number of pages you want to scrape for each keyword. Click on save and run and then run in the cloud. In just a couple of minutes, I can see the task is completed and it has scraped some 400 lines. Let's look at the data and then export it. Copy the URLs as we need to now scrape data from these product pages. Again, search for eBay and this time select eBay details. Click on sample data to see what will be scraped. Then click on try it. Paste the URLs that we just copied. Click on save and run and then click on run in cloud. I can see the task running. Once completed, you can view and export the scraped data. Similarly, you can scrape Etsy as well by just entering the search results URL. It will scrape all the data for all these products listed on Etsy page. Octopass has pre-made templates for a lot of popular sites like Walmart, Sam's Club, Flipkart, Groupon, etc. If you don't find your target website here, use the advanced mode, which is easy to use and will allow you to build a custom scraper for any website without code. That'll be all for this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my future content. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.